Right, what have we got today? It's a large bush, so get ready for it. Bush. In fact, it doesn't even fit in, this, in the frame there. Hang on, move this rubbish out of the way. There you go, just fits. Okay, so this is the Manta Precision Bit Set from iFixit. Now, if you remember, not so long ago, I looked at a set from iFixit. It was Precision. I mean, this has got a strange name. It's Precision Bit Set, but it's not just Precision. It's Precision and Quarter Inch, which I think are kind of separate. But anyway, I looked at the iFixit. I think it was the Murray, which is named after an eel. It was okay. It was okay. It was magnetically lidded in other words you can take that off so there's nothing to work out and then you've got magnets on the bottom so you can like do that and put your little screws in and things and it was okay i had no problems with the bits they were all extremely high quality as you can see i've done this in 4k so i'll just show you i'll give you a nice close-up 4k hdr and all that stuff so you can get a nice close look at that bit there extremely high quality very i think these are s2 steel off the top of my head no problems, and they are the standard 4 mil, so they can go in any other precision driver. That just happens to be a, what's that, a Torx T15. So pretty good, you know, no problems with that. However, the problem I did have was the driver. So here's the driver. Precision driver, plastic, 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 and then metal here with a magnet down the bottom, as you would expect to retain the bit. Plastic head, but listen. Hear that? I'll put it as close as I can. And look, it's not free fl sort of flowing. It doesn't, it doesn't, that was the only problem I had. And when you pop that off, it was because it was just raw plastic on raw plastic here. There was a little tiny bit of lubrication on here, but that's not particularly good workmanship in my opinion, uh, especially when you're, you're going for a specific brand name, iFixit, which are decent. Um, I think their excuse was on this one, ah, but you've got this SIM ejection tool. Uh, yeah, okay, you've got a SIM ejection tool. Why could you not just add a SIM ejection tool? You could have put a little lengthy one in here and just put it down the side there. I don't know what the purpose of that. Um, okay, that's an added feature you could argue, but that's just hollow plastic there. So the driver was the thing that let this down, although to be fair, it still works. You know, if you pop that in there and you put your bit in, you can still use it like that. Look, so I'm putting that in there and rotating it, but listen, not very smooth, not what I would call a high quality piece. So with that in mind, we are now looking at the iFixit Manta. So what's the Manta? So the previous one there was just four mil bits, so all precision. So something like, um, just off the top of my head, this is one of the ones I take to work. I mean, I've had that at work for a number of a number of sort of months. This is, this is a house one from, uh, this is the Viha, which is a German manufacturer. So all four mil bits there. It's got the little, the ESD precision driver there. Pretty nice, okay, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. It's not totally perfect. And there are all your four mil bits there in all their glory. Very nice, very nice set. But in this regard, you have the precision section here and you also have standard quarter inch bits. So your standard quarter inch bits are something that will go into a quarter inch driver like this. This just happens to be a PB Tool Swiss, one of my favorites. And there are some of the quarter inch heads. So interchangeable. So at the moment, I would, if I, you know, if I wanted to go really compact and EDC, I would have that as the precision, and then that as a quarter inch, which would cover most of my stuff in that stubby. However, this is everything. So let's get it out of the pack. I'll, I'll quickly show you the pack. I mean, they're saying you can use it for drones, blah, 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 all of those things. Yes, you can. Automotive, yeah, maybe, maybe, but I'd probably get a load of sort of impact bits for that and use it in an impact wrench. So 112 bits in total, four mil driver, and a quarter inch driver so you have the small four inch four mil driver and then the quarter inch on the left there so anything else on the box here right here's the important stuff here's what you get in the drivers so we've got phillips all the way down to triple zero which is impressive up to a number three so way down there in the small heads you've got your, a massive selection of flat heads there few not many talks but the reason there isn't many talks is because the vast majority of the talks are talks security talk security are just where they drill out the middle and it makes it they make it harder to tamper by using like a flat head or other heads which are similar it, it prevents you doing that because it's got a little a bar in the middle there you've got your standard pentalobe there's a p2 p5 and p6 on those you've got your GIS bits uh, that's Japanese industrial standard I think off the top of my head there's a slight difference between a Phillips which is there 
and a Japanese industrial standard. I'm not going to go over that in this video. That's not what this is about. I'm trying to keep this short. And we're already up to about five minutes or something. You've got your hexes, and then you've got hex security. So again, like the talks, they've got that center thing out. Hex security, SAE, and you've got your tri-point, tri-wing, nut driver, square, posi drive, which is more of a European thing, but I use them a lot. You've got your torque set then you've got the art uh, which is slightly offset there and then you've got your clutch game bit now i think game bit is nintendo off the top of my head you've got the two point spanner there sometimes known as a u head they're calling it a spanner i'm not sure why triangle a yeah, spline and then up here you have oval schrader setting from the top there you've got your, your standoff bit for iphone yeah that's an iphone thing and then your y hook sim ejection bit which is just a little hole thing a magnetic pickup bit which i have used and found quite interesting i wish it was like an extendable one for when you drop bits but it's not the end of the world and then you've got some adapters and blah 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 but anyway this is getting boring so let's open this box i put it back in the box so it comes in this i think that's quite nice i've got the little hand there this is they're on about this revolution they're trying to do and making people fix their own stuff yeah 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 okay i get that so you take it out here there is a little booklet get rid of that I quite like the booklet, you get some stickers in which you can stick on people's stuff at work and annoy them and then this is that, like their revolution thing where they're saying we're sick and tired of not being able to fix your own stuff which you know it's kind of an iPhone thing where they try and stop you from fixing your own stuff. It, there's arguments on both sides, I mean as, a, as a, someone who wants to protect consumer rights I think you should have the right, if you've bought something you, are, you should have the right to dismantle it, alter it, you know upgrade it, change it, modify it, that's just my personal view so there you go. There's all their little bits of their, I don't know, little booklet there. So, boom, get rid of that. There's your stickers, right, let's get on with this. Okay, here's the box. It's very similar to this one, which was the Marie, but much bigger. Still magnetic, which is good and bad, because if you remember on this one, I said that when I put this in a bag, I put a, um, an elastic band around it, because those magnets are good, but they're not perfect. So if that gets knocked like that, that's going to open. And then do you want bits falling out in your bag? Probably not. As long as it's compressed against something, you're all right. And the same can be said of this, look. So it's exactly the same, it's all plastic. And then again, you have the magnets on the cardinal points there. It's all, you know, top there, bottom. So what you can do is you can take this lid off and on the inside, I quite like these indents. So when I'm dismantling things, I can put screws in a specific section in the steer. So as you can see, they are little sectionized bits. And then what you can do is when you're busy and you don't want people messing with things, you can just pop that on top and those magnets stick. So that's quite an interesting feature. Um, do I use it all the time? No, I tend to have that on one side and then that to the other side. And I put my bits in and I'm fiddling. So there's your lid if you wanted to look at that. Right, let's have a proper look at this. Okay, so we'll start with the precision driver. Much better, much better than the Maria. This is all aluminium or aluminium if you're American. They are saying it is anodized, which is why there's color on the top there. But watch, watch this, watch. It spins freely. Look, beautiful. What a difference. Beautiful in comparison to the other one. Free flow and listen. Zero noise. Beautiful. Much, much, much better. I have no problems with that. Beautiful and nicely balanced as well. Slightly end heavy, but that's where it's in your hand anyway, so that's not an issue. Quite nicely balanced, all metal, and you still have your magnet down the bottom. So let's take one of these. So if you let's have a look at one of the precision bits. I'm not going to go through every single bit, but I'll show you them in as close detail as I can. So there they are. They've got a slightly rounded off end, and the head. There you go. There's the quality of the head. These should be S2 steel, which is like I mean S2 steel is shock steel, but you know, it's not really for bashing stuff, it's a tool. It's a, it's tool metal. Pretty decent. And that's on the 4mm stuff here. So we'll pop that in. Let's see what the battery, the magnet's like. That's pretty good, look. That's pretty good. I would say that's maybe, it's like Vera strength. Vera as in the Vera tools. I would say it's Vera-ish strength. Um, it's not quite VHAR strength and it's certainly not PB tools, but it's enough. At the end of the day, it's enough for a precision driver. Very, very nice. And let's see if they are compatible. So if we take something like the as a house here, let's just try theirs. So the, if these are genuine four mil, they should be compatible. So same again. So let's pop that in. Yeah, absolutely no problems whatsoever. So they're not some daft proprietary like you can get with some brands. Great, nice, very, very nice. I like that. Okay, so pop that in there. 
So I'll show you a selection of some of the bits just so you can get an idea of the quality. So we'll look at one of the hexes there. This is a security hex. So as you can see, the head has a hole in because you have that little post in the middle of the annoying hex security ones. And then let's look at some of the little torques here. So I'll look at one of the smaller ones. So there's a, there's a, right, a nice smaller one. This happens to be a, this is a small, so it's a Torx, it's a T9. Let's have a look at the T9. There you go. Not bad, not bad quality look, as you can see. I'm not noticing anything on there where I think, good goodness me, who did that? You know, was that the, was he the first day on the job, the guy who machined that? But no, everything looks very high quality. A slight sort of pattern to it there. Not bad, not bad. So very nice. What else have we got here? We have some more precision. So there's a little tiny precision. Again, four mil on this one. Now that's a GIS, so that's a Japanese industrial standard. So slightly different. And the Japanese industrial standard is talking about the head there, not the anvil. There is a slightly slight difference in, in um, anvils on uh, other bits but i'm not going to go into that and again i'm not going to, i'm not going to go into the tiny little differences between a japanese industrial standard and a standard phillips which the rest of the world use but you'll find these on a lot of japanese electronics so nice that they've added that in i just wish they would maybe put a little card in because not a lot of people know the difference and i'm not being a snob there but they genuinely don't because they've never had need the, the, the need to know that and that looks like the sim ejection tool so four mil on the bottom there yeah it says sim on it and then there you go. So you would use that to push into a mobile phone or a cell phone, if you want to call it that, and pop out the SIM. So very nice. So let's look at the four mils. In fact, there's, there's that other bit that I was on about there. So there's a magnet in that one. That's kind of cool. So you pop that in and you can reach down and get stuff. So just to show you that it works, let's see if these are. So if you drop a screw or something, boom, that's pretty cool. So I have actually used that. So if you drop a screw and you think, oh no, it's right down the bottom there. Boom, you can pick it up. I just wish that maybe put another one in, like an extendable one, because sometimes things get dropped way down and it'd be really annoying, but that's an added feature that I quite like. So pop that in, and that was a quarter inch bit, that one. Let's look at the quarter inch driver. If anything, the quarter inch driver is quite heavy. That doesn't bother me, but look. Wee, free flowing. It's a tiny little bit of a noise. That feels maybe ball bearing, I'm not sure. It's hard to, hard to see on that one, I'm not sure, but very nice, heavy uh, aluminum again, anodization on the top there. There's a few little nicks on there though, can you see that? I didn't do them, it was like that when I got it, you see on the anodization? There, there's a high spot and a few other places, but it does not affect it. I couldn't care less, it will not affect it for me. And there's a magnet down the bottom, let's see what the strength's like. So if we take something like this, let's pop that in, so a quarter inch pop ah now that's stronger oh yes yeah that magnet i would say that's v-haw strength so when i'm talking about v-haw i'm talking about that so a v-haw from the so that feels so this is a quarter inch i mean th this is different this isn't a purely magnetized one this uses a ball bearing detent but uh, just off the top of my head i would say that that feels like v-haw strength it's not up to pb swiss but it's pretty good and all the bits have the little detents so if you want to use them in one that wasn't a magnetic and it needed the little detents you've got them there you see that halfway up so nice they're nice bits now these aren't s2 these are apparently 6150 i think 6150 steel which is good i think it's basically it's a type of steel where they just add vanadium so you're getting some level of hardness above what you would normally get with a standard steel which is good because it means the bits are going to last they're not like when you go to the dollar store and you, you think oh that's great you get all these bits and they're rubbish because they grind down in five minutes and it becomes extremely annoying but love this driver look at that beautiful extremely smooth the knurling's nice just like this nice knurling again the only the only thing i could spot was those tiny little dings in the anodization of the blue there other than that but i couldn't care less that's not going to alter me and i look after my tools pretty well so i don't think that's going to rust or anything because this is aluminum and i've got no issues with that brilliant uh, i'll show you some more of the other heads so let's have a look at let's have a look at the offset tool which is the iphone one basically so nice close look at that in 4K, there you go. It's that funny offset one for iPhones. So you've got that if you need it. You've got little nut drivers as well, interesting, I like that. So the nut drivers are there, decent quality. There they are, 
and then they just pop into your driver there. That one happens to be a 4.5 mil. So these must be in uh, non-imperial. These are metric. And there's another one. Beautiful. So again, I've used this quite a while. I, do you know what? I meant to review this ages ago because I've used it quite a while. I'm, in, I'm impressed with it. Um, things I probably would change. I mean, this is great, but those magnets are only so strong and again that could quite that, that could come un, dis, dislodged and a little it's a little bit annoying but i get why they've done it and i think something like this probably would be less taken in and out of bags and more and more to be a desk set whereas this is more a mobile set this is more a desk set i mean you can get massive precision driver sets this is the jack me one that i reviewed millions of heads here but quite heavy Whereas this one is great because you've got a bit of both. You've got your, your standard four mil drivers and then you've got your quarter inch, which is standard again. You've got both drivers, both extremely high quality. I think that's pretty good. So let's go over the good points and the bad points of this. Okay, so you're getting 112 bits in total. You've got your four mil driver and your quarter inch, both are aluminium. You've got S2 bits on the smaller. You've got your 6150 steel, which is your vanadium steel, on the larger sort of quarter inch ones there. It actually comes with a lifetime warranty, which fills me with a lot of hope uh, in the same way that the Maria had. Yes, I mean, there's a few little things I would change about it, but I'm confident that if something completely snapped or broke, you could say, look, I'm not happy with this uh, and claim on the warranty. I'm quite happy about that. I quite like this, but I wish to do more. Um, maybe it's make this a little bit more raised where you can put more screws in one section or maybe it's colorize them. So... I mean, the way I do it, if I'm dismantling things, I tend to take a mental image on the desk and then I put the parts out as I did them. There's all sort of little methods you can use for that. But I think you could maybe colorize some of these, you know, red, green, blue, or whatever, just so you can memorize where, which, which screws came from which parts or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but it's a nice little dish there to work on things. Or maybe magnetize it. I don't know in case some idiot comes and knocks it. But pretty nice. I'm very happy with this. Lifetime warranty. I'll give this a mark out of 10. I think it's a nice desk set. Look at that. You've got pretty much everything you need for basic stuff. Yes, I realize there are specialist sets where you're going to get some... It, it's always the case where no matter what you do, someone's going to hand you something and go, right, fix that. And you go, oh, I've never seen that one. I didn't even know that existed. It, it was, you know, not long ago, I was bit working on something outside and someone said, have you got a seven point driver and I was like I've never heard of it and it was a bit that I didn't even have and yet I've got bits from all over the place so there's always a, a new bit that they come out with to annoy people like me but this has ba basically everything you would generally need including a Nintendo and an iPhone bit Schrader's you know the lot everything's there um I think they've done a good they've done a good job they've even, there's even a converter there if you want to do big nut drivers and things like that so I'm going to give this a nine I think it could be Maybe it's a tiny bit cheaper when you put it up against the competition. I mean, now this is Vihar's more budget set, but I think that's a good price. Um, that's just the four mils, but obviously you're not getting your quarter inch, so you know, you've got to bear that in mind. But a lot of the time I'm carrying stubbies and things like this, which are great. Um, you know, it, I would have a, maybe it's a stubby and this, but you're going to have way more heads with this. But I'm sure this was about... I mean, I got this on special. This was like 52 or something like that. But I'm sure it's up to about $60, um, depending on where you get it. Pretty impressed, though. I'll give it a 9. I'll give it a 9 because there's not a lot I would change to make this better. But pretty nice. And lifetime warranty. So I'll give you a close look at the bits there. As close as I can. This I've done this in 4K HDR. I'll try and keep that steady so you can get a close look at the bit that you may be most interested in. It's even got positives in there. Not all sets do, especially the international ones. Pretty nice. And there's the dodgy ones at the top where you go, what's that one? I've never seen that one. Pretty cool. Okay, nine out of 10. Well done. I think you've done a good job. I fix it. I wish you could put that driver in this set because that plastic one was rubbish. If you put that in that, I think that would bump that way up. But that's maybe it's a cost thing. In fact, it probably will be because that's plastic. Well done. If you've got any comments, stick them down below. Or if you think that's a load of rubbish, my set's way better. Tell me. Help each other. We'll help each other here and find out which one's the best and worth getting. Okay, so thanks for joining me and get on with your day. Goodbye.